So hi guys, we are soon going to say goodbye to 2023 and let's talk about the recent changes that came this year. The one of the major change that came was the fifth edition of WHO in hematology came up and it changed the classification of hematology. So uh, what is the most important thing that changed was the classification of AML and also there were many new things which were added like uh, MDS classification changed. Apart from that, we know that uh, JMML was added in the myeloproliferative new plasms and so on so today i'm going to just take you uh, like a zip through the aml classification the changes that occurred so here we have to see the first chart here so guys earlier we used to say aml with recurrent genetic abnormality now we say aml with defining genetic abnormality earlier we only had very few mutations which were in that category now there is a list of mutations which are there in that category apart from that we do not give them number we name them by the names now so it is pml rara it is rungs rungs t1 okay so names have been given apart from that there's no 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 comma now there is four columns like that now between the mutations okay apart from that in cb cebpa we include bzip cebpa as the mutation and the new who also left scope for more genetic abnormalities which are going to come in future bye